and this just appears to be a perfect little couple's camper. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we invite you to subscribe to our channel and remember to hit that notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every single week when we put out a brand new video. But without any further ado, let's get started on our reviews of travel trailers that are perfect for couples. This travel trailer is the StarCraft Autumn Ridge model number 172 FB. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,075 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 675 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,750 pounds. It measures in at 19 feet 3 inches long and it can sleep up to 4 people. When you walk inside this travel trailer, the first thing you'll notice is that you have some storage and a bathroom located towards the back of the camper, the kitchen and dinette area in the center, and then towards the front is where the bed is located. So just inside the door when I walk in, there's two very large pantry cabinets here with tons and tons of space in them. And then just beyond that is where the bathroom is located, but we'll take a look at that last. As we get to the kitchen area, this is what we call an inline kitchen. It just means that all of your kitchen appliances are all in one line. Now, starting with the refrigerator, this is a really, really nice size fridge and refrigerator for a smaller trailer. Really good size, uh, plenty of room up in the freezer. I think it's really terrific. Just beyond the refrigerator, we have the microwave oven overhead and then some really large storage cabinets up here to stow away all your stuff. Down below that, we have a very large single bowl inset sink with a gooseneck faucet. Very good size for being able to wash dishes and we're still left with plenty of countertop space. There are also two receptacles up here above the counter and a nice window over the sink for natural light. Now beyond that, we have a two burner stove this is also a front to back setup, which I really like because it does give you more countertop space. Below that, we have plenty of storage cabinetry underneath of the burners, also underneath of the sink. And then finally, we have fully extendable kitchen drawers for all of your utensils. So here I am sitting at the dinette table and you know, you can definitely fit two people here very comfortably. Maybe two adults and one or two small children could also fit here very, very comfortably. I like the dinette setup for a couple of reasons. First of all, overhead, there's a very, very large storage cabinet or two of them where you can stow things. Below that, we have a nice big dinette window that can open so you can get some fresh air in here. There's also a receptacle next to the dinette window. And then finally, you can drop the table down in here and create a bed and if you choose to do that let's see what size bed you would end up with and you'd end up with about a 70 inch by 40 inch bed so you know two really small kids uh, could sleep here pretty easily now also on both sides you can pull up the cushions and access more storage underneath your dinette booths now here I am all the way at the front of the camper where the bed is located and when a bed is in this kind of position, if the one person sleeping towards the wall has to get up in the middle of the night, obviously they're going to disturb the other person getting out of bed to use the bathroom or what have you, but it's still tucked away in a great location. Now this bed is 54 inches wide and 76 inches long, so not the biggest bed in the world, but it will certainly work. Now at the head of the bed here, you've got a cabinet that lifts up and creates more storage under there. And there's also a power port here that has two USBs in it. Beyond that, you've also got a receptacle on the wall. So you have everything you need to charge up electronics and things like that at night. Now, one weird thing is this is also where your TV location is. So if you wanted to mount a TV on the wall in here, this is where all the rough ins are, but this is also the head of the bed. So it seems to me like they might have gotten this a little backwards. I think the head of the bed should be over there so you can lay in bed and watch TV at night, but that's the way it goes. Uh, overhead here, you've got three cabinets that offer plenty of storage up there. You've also got a light overhead as well. 
And there's also a large amount of storage underneath the owner's bed. It's accessible to, through two outside compartment doors, but we can't show it to you. It's so crammed full of boxes and marketing materials. We're at a RV show right now. We can't even get a camera shot of it, but it's there and it certainly adds to the storage capacity of this trailer. Okay. All right, so here I am inside the bathroom and I'm standing in the shower like I usually am. And you know, there's about two or three inches over my head to the ceiling of the RV, but inside the vent cover, there is an impressive six feet, six inches of head space. So you taller folks will be able to stand up in here pretty well. Now it's a very basic shower. There is no surround. They're just using the existing walls that are in here and they'll caulk all the corners and everything to make it as watertight as possible. In addition to that, it's just got a removable wand and then a very basic shower curtain. Now I'm outside of the shower and in the bathroom here, you'll notice that there's a mirror on the wall, no medicine cabinet. Down below that though, there's a corner vanity that's actually a pretty large size. You get a decent sink and a very nice faucet. There is a receptacle located here, so you can plug in a hair dryer or a shaver. And then down below that, there's additional storage underneath of the vanity sink. Now here I am sitting on the commode and if I'm gonna do the elbow test in here, you know, I can sort of pass it on this side, no problems on the other. This travel trailer is the Forest River Viking, model number 16SFB. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 2,783 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,080 pounds, for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,863 pounds. It measures in at just 18 feet 6 inches long, and it can sleep up to three people. When you first walk into this camper in the back of the camper, you'll notice there's a coat closet and bathroom. Then we wrap on around into the kitchen and dinette area. And finally, the bed is towards the front. So here I am walking in the back door. Susan's now standing where I was standing. And the first thing you'll notice here is this coat closet, which I have to say is really a big coat closet. Fantastic size, plenty of room. You could hang all your coats in here and still store things on the bottom of the closet itself. And then down below that, there's another large storage area. That might be a great place to kick your shoes and store things like that under there, but it's got plenty of room. Straight ahead is the bathroom, but we'll take a look at that last as we wrap on around through this trailer. Just past the bathroom, you will find these two really nice sized pantry cabinets. These are about two feet deep. It's got a fixed shelf in the middle. It could actually have some more shelves in here, but uh, you can put totes and things like that to use to help store all of your dry goods. Above here is where a microwave would go. Now, they didn't put one in here, and that's kind of good and kind of bad news, right? The good news is it's not built in, so if it breaks or anything happens to it, you can easily just unplug it and replace it. It's like a countertop microwave. Um, and you can buy the microwave that you want, or maybe you would buy a convection oven microwave and put it in here. So you got a couple choices in microwaves or convection ovens, you know, a few hundred bucks, and you got just what you need. Just next to that, you've got this nice black glass cabinet door with tons of storage space behind it. Down below that we have, whoops, our two burner range. And then you've got your single bowl sink in here. Now I've seen this sink in quite a few trailers and in my opinion, it's just way too small. I can't ever picture me washing dishes in a sink this size. Um, and I'm sure if I did, I would get water all over the place, which makes Susan not very, very happy. Again, we've got a gooseneck faucet in here, and that's always a good thing. And then you have all this countertop space, which is really, really nice. You could put a coffee pot here, a toaster here. Everything would plug in right next to it. It's all very convenient and in a perfect space. Just below the countertop, we have our Dometic refrigerator. And... You know, this isn't a bad size fridge for a weekend getaway. It's also got a separate place up top for your freezer section. You can store ice cubes and things like that in there. Below your kitchen sink, you also have some storage space. And the same is also true below your two burner cooktop. So here I am at the dinette, and this can easily sit two people very, very comfortably. Uh, it also has a window over top that opens with a screen so you can get some airflow through here. Very nice. I also like the fact that the dinette is on the camp side of this trailer. So when you look out the window, you see your own campsite with your fire ring and picnic table. 
Whereas if the dinette was on the other side of the camper, you'd be looking at your neighbor's campsite. So I always like to be on the campsite personally. That's just my personal opinion. Now, this will also drop down and create another bed in here. And if you did that, you would have about, uh, I don't know, like 65 inches. So five feet, five inches. And the width in here is about 31 inches. So I would say a child would be able to sleep here if you had you know two adults and one kid you could make that work now right behind me here is where the bed is located and let's see how big this bed is definitely 56 inches across and then the length on it is 74 inches so we would call this a short full or twin bed i don't know which do you know a full size bed it's a full-size bed, according to Susan. There you go. Uh, up top here, you have these nice big cabinets with plenty of storage up there. There's also a window on each side of the bed, so you can get a little bit of a cross breeze through here. On the head of the bed, we have a receptacle and two USB ports. We also have another receptacle over here. Of course, your cable is here too, so you would either end up putting your TV over your countertop, or you could really mount a smaller TV up here, perhaps. Um, not a great spot for laying in bed and watching TV because this is the headboard, so you're kind of facing the wrong way. Uh, but if you're sitting at your dinette and you want to watch TV, then I suppose that would work. Now, one other really cool feature about this bed is that it does lift up and you've got all this storage room underneath of the bed, which is also accessible from two exterior storage doors that are located on each side of the trailer. So here I am in the bathroom and standing in the shower like I always do. And you guys know I'm 5'11", and there's a few inches over my head. Let's see what we got here. We got six feet, three inches of headroom inside the shower. For you guys that are taller than that, you'll have to crouch down a little bit. Now, this is a very basic shower stall. They don't even have a surround in here. There's no corner shelves. There's just a very basic wand that you can use. And the shower controls are in a really weird spot. They're way, way, way down here. I would imagine that's because the water lines come up and they're trying to hide them from showing up inside another cabinet or something like that. Now, this also has a shower curtain rather than a shower door. And this is how they should be used. You should ball them up like this and then throw them away. Get yourself a nice retractable shower door. Uh, you can buy them from Rec Pro, I think, you know, in the range of 65 to 85 bucks and put yourself a nice retractable shower door in here. Now, one thing to point out about this bathroom is it is a smaller bathroom. And what they did is they decided not to put a sink in here which for a very small bathroom, I agree that that's a good idea. You can go and wash your hands in the kitchen sink if you need to. Some folks do not like to do that at all because every time I mention it in a video, we get tons of comments about washing your hands in the kitchen sink. Let us know in the comments down below what you would do and how you feel about it. Also, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Here I am on the commode and not gonna pass the elbow test over there, but plenty of room on this side. This travel trailer is the KZ Sportsman Classic, model number 170 MB. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 2,980 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 520 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,500 pounds. It measures in at 22 feet long and it can sleep up to three people. When you first walk into this camper on the right hand side, you'll find your sofa and the Murphy bed. Then it wraps on around into the kitchen and dinette area and behind me here is where the bathroom is located. You know, when I walk into this camper, my first impression is that there's a decent amount of space in here. There's no slides and this just appears to be a perfect little couple's camper for two. Now on my right hand side here, this is where the couch and Murphy bed are located. And the couch, I have to say, is really super, super comfortable. Um, this also converts out into the Murphy bed. And the way that works is you just jackknife your sofa out. It's got a clip on each side. I think I'll pop this one first. And then this one. And then you have to be sure to extend this out because that's what supports the bed. And there you go. Now this even has a nice uh, sort of bungee cord system on here. So if you had your covers and sheets and all that on here, this would help 
to hold everything in place. The other nice feature about this style of Murphy bed is that there is no fold in this mattress. So it should be super, super comfy. You won't be laying across the fold at night. So I really like that layout. Now you'll also notice behind the Murphy bed at the front of the camper, there's a nice big window here. Uh, it doesn't open or close, but it will let light in, or you can watch the stars or look outside while you're sleeping at night. And then, of course, there are receptacles and outlets on either side of the bed. There's also a little cubby behind the wardrobe cabinets where you can put your phone or tablet while it's charging at night. Each side of the bed also has a wardrobe cabinet with a bar so you can hang garments in there and uh, they won't get all wrinkled up, stuffed into a drawer. Now let's see how big this bed is. It measures in at about 74 inches by 60 inches. So this would be considered a short queen size bed. Now as we wrap around from the bed and sofa area, before we get into the kitchen, this is where you would be able to mount your TV in here. You've got your rough ends and a receptacle up top. Uh, you can put your TV here, put it on a swivel arm, and then you'd be able to see it from your sofa or your bed before you're getting ready to go to sleep at night. You could watch a little TV. Now, the kitchen area in here features a really large cabinet up top. Lots and lots of storage up there. Then we have a regular microwave. Just below that, we have a two-burner propane stove. And then a single bowl countertop mounted sink in here. It's got a nice big gooseneck faucet and it's a decent sized sink i kind of like that size and then you actually have a decent amount of counter sp top space to the right of that now you could also there's a receptacle up here and i would imagine if we had our coffee pot and toaster in the morning we'd set them up here and plug them right up to this receptacle so that would work out just fine this cabinet on the bottom here is where you'll find all of your kitchen utensil drawers and they have them built in so they're fully removable which you know that's not always a bad thing if you need if you're hunting for something you could pull it out put it up here try to find it put everything back so not a bad setup these three next cabinets all open up into one big space underneath of your sink and your propane cooktop right next to the cooktop is where the refrigerator is located and this is a good size fridge in here and it comes with a separate freezer which is fantastic if you have frozen items ice all that kind of good stuff we love to have a separate freezer and refrigerator so here i am at the dinette right across from the kitchen and two people can very comf comfortably sit at this table i like the fact that it's got a nice big window here that does open so you can get some airflow in here you have a light overhead also and then additional storage cabinetry above so there is just tons of cabinet space inside of here speaking of storage space both of the dinette booths also have full storage underneath of them that you can access this table will drop down and create one more space for someone to sleep and when you do that you have a space that's about uh, five feet 11 inches by uh, about 30 inches so i would say you know a kid or a smaller adult could crash here uh, if you would like so here we are in the bathroom and i'm standing in the shower and headroom in here there's maybe an inch and a half over my head on the regular ceiling but into the vent uh, you've got about i don't know six feet three inches so for you taller guys you might have to you know crouch down a bit in here but it's not too bad uh, this is a very basic shower setup. There is no shower surround. We're just using the existing trailer walls that are all caulked in to make them watertight. There's also a wand here that you can remove when you're showering. And then of course we have a shower curtain in here, but you know, you could always replace this with a retractable door at some later point if you chose to. Now Susan's standing in the shower and I'm over here on the other side of the bathroom, which does run the entire width of the back of this trailer, trailer, by the way. So it's a decent sized bath and you get this gigantic storage cabinet in here. I wish it had two doors because there is a bar that goes all the way across, but it's, you can't access the one side very easily anyway. Uh, but you do get a nice big storage closet here uh, for hanging things up or you can store other things in there as well. Now, the one thing that's missing in here is a vanity sink and medicine cabinet and all of that stuff. So. It appears to me that what they did is uh, they put this big storage cabinet in here in lieu of putting in a sink 
Here I am on the commode. There's plenty of room inside of here and it passes the elbow test with flying colors. Now that you've had a chance to see all three of these amazing travel trailers, let us know which one is your favorite and why in the comments down below. And if you'd like to see even more travel trailers that are perfect for couples, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.